test number one. We're gonna see if Tesla's Smart Summon can go its full range. Tesla says it can go about 200 feet as long as you have good line of sight. So I'm gonna go 200 feet back that way. It's about 65 meters and we're gonna see if we can Smart Summon. All right, 65 paces away. It's about 200 feet. Let's see what we can do here. Hitting top speed of five miles an hour. What's that? <laughs> yeah, I'm driving it from the phone. <laughs> Test number one complete. <laughs> All right, smart summon test number two. We're gonna see if the car will follow a path that I give it, even if the path is not on the road. So I'm gonna put my target as the river over there and see if the car will actually continue driving beyond the edge of the road towards the river. Obviously, I'm not gonna let it get into the river, but we're gonna see what the car does. All right, we've set the target to the river and we're gonna tell the car to go to the target. This might be bye-bye, Tesla. <laughs> Taking the long route. Oh the man. So the route's changing as it moves. It doesn't really know where it's going. Maybe it knows to take the bridge. It's coming backwards now. Okay, here we go. It recognizes that this is the road. Yeah. And it's gonna continue along the road. It's not gonna turn off into the river. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just smart like that, eh? Along the road, looking for the entrance to the river, and it's not finding it. Still looking for the edge. Oh, of the I see river. what you mean. Okay. And it's gonna keep looking, probably until it gets to the edge of its range. It's still going. <laughs> My hands are getting cold. <laughs> oh, oh, maximum distance reached. All right. That's it. So no. So you know what? That, didn't that's go good. The river. That's a good thing. <laughs> that's a good sign. <laughs> All right. Next Tesla Smart Summon test. We got the car down there. We set up a bunch of pylons all the way through the parking lot and we've got it going straight and then it's going to curve and we're going to try and get the Tesla to come all the way to me. First see if it hits any of the pylons on the way and then see if it'll follow our course and then come back around to get to us. Let's see if it'll find us. Oh, it's backing up. It doesn't want to go through our obstacle course. <laughs> It's oh wow! Obstacle course. It just fully oh, avoided shit. it. Is it gonna hit the cone? No, it's not. Wow! It went around the obstacle course. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Well, let's see oh, if it's it gonna avoid these small cones. <laughs> it avoided all of them. Yeah, it fully backed out of our course. <laughs> let's see if we can, uh, do you wanna do a fourth one? Yeah, I'm down. Okay, let's see if we can trap it, kind of. Yeah. We've trapped the entire car in pylons. We have like 12 or 13 pylons all around the car. We're gonna see how Tesla reacts to the obstacles. First, if it can see the obstacles, and then if it actually tries to go around them, if it tries to run them over, we'll see. Oh, it's backing up. Is it gonna hit it? Oh, it can't go further back. It's trying to go forwards. Oh! <laughs> it KO'd. It ran over one of the cones and escaped my trap. Now I have a few more cones and I put them tighter towards the car. Let's see what happens this time. My Tesla's trapped. <laughs> you got your thumb or your clickbait right there. <laughs> it's out of options, it knows it. <laughs> Successfully trapped the Tesla this time. It went back and forth about 15 or 20 times. It couldn't find a way out of the uh, maze and it stopped. Now we've put smaller objects around the car. We've put red Solo cups filled with snow around the car. They're not very big objects. We'll see if Tesla detects them and then if it decides to run over them in order to get out in Smart Summon. 
Oh, it stopped. <laughs> it went right over the cup. <laughs> yeah, you better hope this cup isn't gonna sue you, eh? <laughs> so yesterday I got the 2017.36 Tesla software update. That's the latest update, and this is absolutely crazy. I can see on my screen the pylons as I drive. There's pylons up ahead, and they show up as pylons on the screen. That is just absolutely nuts. As I drive through them too. Absolutely insane.